Rocket tied the series up. Thank you very much, Trevor. And let's uh, we'll continue by talking about those picks and bans. A lot of different things coming in that Yasuo finally opened up for Nuketok and he got his hands on it and he went for it. Yeah, I think the, the key thing in this is if you're on Origin and you're uh, just after first rotation, you go, okay, we'll give him the Gangplank. We'll just take the Shen, we'll take the Victor. This is what we this want good, yeah. from this pick and ban phase. I think Origin would be very happy there. And then suddenly they get into the game. The Victor gets neutralized by this, uh, you know, very skillful Yasuo play. Peke didn't have a particularly horrible game or bad game at all. He just did nothing for like 35 <laughs> minutes. He couldn't get anything in lane. All he was doing was farming. Zero, zero, zero for 35 minutes on a first rotation pick Victor. I think what we just saw here, uh, first of all, Nukedog finally gets to show, as you said, his Yasuo, how strong he is on this pick. He was banned away in the first game. It's probably something Origin will look to do again now they're back on blue side. But the Shin pick itself, I like it in the early rotation. I would have loved to see it on support, that though. Works, yeah. Yeah. Um, because once you lock it in top lane, and you then go for Sivir as well, you have a very uh, utility-based composition where a lot of your damage comes from the Victor alone. But then the problem is there's a Braum in the game, there's a wind wall in the game as well that can block so much of your damage coming in. And also, we saw Peke a few times not be in the right position to really be the big carry for the team. So the whole composition were kind of built around him when it came to the late game damage. And it was just too many tanks almost, because even though, yes, they can stack armor, something we talked about was how Gangplank has armor uh, penetration on his barrels, Yasuo on his ulti, Korgi can um, remove armor on his E as well. So like there are three carries right here that can basically ignore a lot of your armor. So it's not as effective as it normally would be and Rocket will still have plenty of damage. Yeah, it's also one of the first times that we see OG putting everything on that mid lane. Usually they have other things. They have Aura Gangplank or they have a Tristana pick for Niels who we know if it goes a little bit later, he can also play the carry role on. That wasn't the case. Once again though, Rocket did good in the early game, mostly on par. So it was on us to kind of look at what are they going to do with their lead now. But it was actually OG that started up a bear with a ward in the pit. Let's pull that replay up, which made Rocket react to it. Rule number one, if you want to start Baron, I don't care if it's a 20 minutes, a 60 minutes, or whatever's happening in the game, at least sweep the pit, because you don't know if someone has snuck in a ward. We just roll the clip now, but it's too easy for Rocket now to start fighting. And at this point, there are three Trinity Forces on this lineup. Yasuo just completed his second item, the Trinity Force. Korki is insanely strong at this point. Steve has a lot of damage as well. Gets a good barrel off at least onto Source, but it means also Nils has to stay so far back in the fight. And now you're also again fighting Brom and Yasuo with a double wall to basically stop so much of your DPS. When you're grouped in a Baron Pit, you can never get out and deal any proper damage. And Pekka was on the wrong side as well, so he had to constantly like back out because if you're on your own as a victor, or a severe in this case, you always have to respect, okay, can I get caught out? Because I'm on my own. There's no peeling for me right now, and they couldn't get proper damage from it. And it, the frustrating thing was Mithy's cooldown on his sweeper was maybe 15 seconds, so they just force it. And, you know, forcing barons is a problem that we've seen Origin have before, saw it, uh, it during the summer split, saw it in Challenger all the way back in spring split as well. Whenever they fall behind and their head kind of dips down, they just go, okay, we, we have to Baron. We have to try and come yeah. up with something here. It was desperation because they had three losing lanes in the early game because we had Nukedog pushing in uh, Pekka in the middle on the Yasuo. We had obviously the very early trade up top lane where Mithy face checks and they start, start falling behind in that lane as well. And of course the Gangplank pushing in Shin. So now as a Shin, in this case here, there's nowhere you can go. Because if you ever leave your own lane, your tower goes down. Steve gets a free tower. It's very, very hard for, for Shin to make a play then. And at the same time, Origin had no real ways of stopping the split push late on. Yep. The 1-3-1. One, one. Nobody could stop, uh, stop Nuke Duck. And also, you had the Shin fighting the TP against the Gangplank. So unless you gank that lane, there would be basically the only way to do it. But he has an orange and good vision control from the rest of the team. You couldn't really start any fights if you are Origin. You couldn't start them, but they tried to start a Baron again. And uh, we wanted to take another, a look at another Baron replay that came out from Origin. And another failed attempt from Origin. So they start the Baron. We can roll this clip out. Um, I don't think it's any surprise here that uh, Rocket are going to read this. The crazy thing is there's an ultimate from your Victor onto the Baron for extra damage. The Baron's at half health at this point. How are you ever going to fight this fight now with your ultimate down? We've spoke about the Wind Wall. Nuke Duck manages to just mitigate so much of the damage here along with Yankos as well in this fight. And I, I mean, Rocket just uh, taking easy fights from Origin having really weird and just yeah. bad shot calling when it comes to their objectives. Again, it's just Origin is saying we need to rush the Baron. We'd hope maybe Rocket is sleeping or one guy walks in on his own. We can maybe catch him out. But like the way they play this team fight as well, 
Engage comes in from Origin. Nukedog puts up the wind wall. Vanna goes next to the wind wall with his own shield, and they just zone out the front line, being like, well, you can't do any damage now. Your Sivir is going to stand there, hit a wall, nothing else, and they just take out the tanks, follow up, and get the rest. Yeah, we're pointing out a lot of mistakes from Origin. How much improvement have you seen from the side of Rocket? They get to close this game out. They make some right decisions, even though and a lot of times they are being reactive. I was impressed by Rocket this game. Uh, I mean, they've been on the upswing, but you know we were expecting more out of Origin coming into this. Rocket have looked solid in game two, solid oh. in the beginning of game one until they slowed. Still a little bit too slow, in yeah. my opinion. You had three Trinity forces. You were winning every single lane. That can be pushed a lot harder. But this is Rocket just making sure they don't make any mistakes, even though, sadly, being too slow can be your mistake. But this one here, they got towards five dragons. They got the fights because Origin almost gave them to them. So you can't really fault them for being very, very slow in this one because it was under control. Yeah, and advantages in a lot of lanes here for Rockout. We also asked you guys at home where you think the advantage would lie. So let's check in with you guys on Twitter as at Saberwolf writes, the battle of the baguettes in the top lane will be an interesting one to watch. Steve holding his own will be crucial for Rockout. Well, in, in situations like this, of course, Gangplab is very strong, but honestly, uh, it reminds me of Steve on Echo, which is one of the w yep. most memorable of his performances in Split. He seems pretty adept on the champion. I was a little bit concerned coming into this matchup here is, could Steve perform as well in Gangplank as Soros could? We saw Huni fail to do that in the final. That was a big deal because it meant Origin didn't have to be afraid of the Gangplank. Now Steve had good performance on it. He won his lane. He had some good barrel mechanics. Ultis were better than yesterday. So Steve has definitely showed up. And that's very key because it means Rocket can first pick the Gangplank. It means also that yep. if it's not banned, Origin has to consider first picking themselves because they don't want to give it over to Steve in first rotation on red side. Yeah, I felt like this game, Origin just disrespected the, the gangplank pick from Steve. They started yesterday, weren't super impressed, and just went, yeah, you have it first, we'll pick what it's we It's the best out of five, though. Right. So I like the fact you say, Steve, show what you got, yeah. and then we can always adapt later. It's 1-1 now, so it's not the end of the world for Origin. No, oh, definitely not. Very interesting. You guys, of course, uh, keep tweeting at LL Esports. And we've got another score to settle, by the way. This guy, was this, is this a tie? Or a sock. You can tweet at LL Esports with a sock win or <laughs> tie win. What very we interesting. Got a close not a tie, that's for what sure. What is it? <laughs> very interesting. You know, Santa Claus tie. comes in and during Christmas and he puts down all the gifts in this one. And now you win. There's going to be coal in your stock. Martin <laughs> Fischio. <laughs> like, I can tell you that for sure. A little side quest here, but uh, the main quest is, of course, this series. It's locked up at one on one. Uh, we need to take a break before game three. Don't touch that dial, though. We'll be right back. everything you need. Keep it simple, and it's exactly as any other game. All right? Yeah. Steve, look at me. Smile. Yeah. Smile. All right. Dead United could get channeled if Amazing wants to die. Mm. They can! Zoe's takes a turret shot! They've traded! The ninja kills the fat man, and the pirate kills the ninja! Oh, oh, no. I don't I'm know. I'm behind you guys. I'm yeah, going Kill Panda, kill Panda. I'm, 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 sh I'm shielding. I will go, go on, uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Go Ali, Ali, Ali. Go Nash, go Nash, go Nash, go Nash, go Nash. We did see at least Peke finding one kill before Raals shuts him down. Then we're going to see Soez and Niels being dropped. Rocket take down Origin. 